Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that the National Action Charter came as a result of the wisdom and vision of His Majesty for the Kingdom's progress and development to meet the aspirations of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness to continue the development march. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. In the cable, His Majesty made reference to achievements and highlighted the constructive role and experience of the Prime Minister in meeting the aspirations of the people of Bahrain in terms of freedom, democracy and economic development. His Majesty the King wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, marking the 17th anniversary of the adoption of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness affirmed that the National Action Charter marks an important event in the Kingdom's modern history that His Majesty the King had initiated. He stated that the national values embedded in the National Action Charter preserve the supreme interest of the country and continued development towards a future where all citizens participate in its formation. His Royal Highness pledged to implement His Majesty's directives, wishing him abundant health and happiness. In response, His Majesty the King expressed pride in past achievements and hopes of achieving more to make the Kingdom a model in dealing with challenges. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter. In the cable, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika emphasized the role and status of Bahraini women in establishing the future of Bahrain, which coincides with declaring Manama as the Arab women's capital, affirming Arab unity and regarding the high status of Bahraini women. She expressed pride in Bahraini women reaching a new level of achievement and hailed His Majesty's support in making Bahrain a model for women's empowerment. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika, highlighting Her Royal Highness's role in leading Bahraini women in the development, social and economic fields and their achievements. His Majesty wished Her Royal Highness abundant health and success. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today received at Sakhir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Her Royal, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, senior royal family members, members of the Legislative Executive and Judicial Authorities and members of the Supreme National Committee to prepare the National Action Charters project on the occasion of its 17th anniversary.
Verses from the Holy Quran were then recited. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وكنتم على شفا حفرة من النار فأنقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تهتدون ولتكن منكم أمة يدعون إلى الخير ويأمرون بالمعروف وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ صدق الله العظيم His Majesty the King then delivered the following speech. صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بإلقاء كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أصحاب السمو الأخوة والأخوات الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسعدنا في هذا اللقاء المبارك أن نحتفي بالذكرى السابعة عشر للتصويت على ميثاق العمل الوطني التي نستذكرها بكل إكبار كانطلاقة واعدة في مسيرة التحديث الشامل لمؤسسات الدولة وسلطاتها الدستورية والتي جاءت ملبية لتطلعات شعبنا الوفي بإجماع غير مسبوق جسد الهوية البحرينية الجامعة والمتطلعة للتطوير والتقدم الحضاري ولنا الفخر أن نشهد اليوم النتائج الطيبة لتجربة وطنية نعتز بها جميعا نحمل مع كل مواطن ومواطنة شرف صيانتها ومسؤولية المضي بها قدما نحو الأفضل لما تحمله من قيمة تاريخية كبرى ساهم في وضع أسسها مختلف قطاعات مجتمعنا المدني بقواه المستنيرة وشخصياته الوطنية من رجاله ونسائه الكرام ونود التأكيد هنا على أن ميثاق العمل الوطني قد استطاع وبجدارة أن يعمق الأرث الحضاري الخصب للبحرين حيث جاء معبرا عن امالكم وتطلعاتكم الوطنيه وتعمل مبادئه 
الرحبة على ترسيخ وحدة الصف والوطن ونبذ الفرقة والطائفية وحماية قيم السلام والتسامح فالميثاق بمبادئه الشاملة جاء كخير حاضن للحريات وخير راع لحقوق الإنسان معززاً بذلك النموذج البحريني الرائد في التعايش الإنساني باحتضان للتعددية الفكرية والثقافية ويعود نجاحنا في ذلك من بعد الله لما يتميز به الإنسان البحريني المتحضر بعطائه المستمر نحو التطوير والتحديث والذي تكمن فيه ثروتنا الحقيقية ومصدر فخرنا بين الأمم الأخوة والأخوات لقد اعتمد الميثاق ومنذ إقرار مرجعا رسميا لعملنا الوطني صيغة المشاركة الوطنية في صناعة القرار تمثلت في إقامة نظام المجلسين الشورى والنواب كما هو في قالب دول العالم وقد تطور عملها المشترك بشكل متدرج من خلال أربعة فصول تشريعية ثرية بالإنجاز إلى جانب استكمال للحقوق السياسية للمرأة ومن هنا فأننا نعيد التأكيد على أهمية التعاون المستمر والبناء بين السلطتين التنفيذية والتشريعية في تسريع وتيرة العمل وخصوصاً الموجهة نحو تنويع مصادر الدخل وتنمية اقتصادنا الوطني دون إخلال بمكتسبات المواطنين وبما يرتقي بمستوياتهم المعيشية مكررين بهذا الشأن توجيهنا بإعادة هيكلة الدعم ووصول إلى مستحقيه من المواطنين وفق أسس موضوعية تأخذ في الاعتبار التطورات في جميع المجالات ونشيد في هذا الإطار بالإنجازات المتميزة التي تحققها السلطة التشريعية بغرفتيها وقيامها بأدوارها الدستورية المناطة بها على أكمل وجه وما تجتهد في بذل على صعيد الدبلوماسية التشريعية للإسهام في الترويج للوجه الحضاري المشرق لمملكة البحرين ولا يسعنا ونحن نسترجع تلك المحطات الهامة في مسيرة تطور الحياة الدستورية في البلاد إلا الإعراب عن بالغ الشكر والتقدير لرئيس وأعضاء لجنة صياغة ميثاق العمل الوطني وكافة اللجان التي وضعت الميثاق موضع التطبيق لنصل إلى ما وصلنا إليه من نتائج باهرة وبعون من الله ستظل ثوابت ميثاق العمل الوطني بروحها المتجددة ورؤيتها الواعدة دافعا للمزيد من البناء والتطوير مستندين بذلك على احترام حكم القانون من خلال المؤسسات الدستورية للارتقاء بمسيرتنا الوطنية التي تستمد قوتها من روح المشاركة الإيجابية وقيم الانتماء الوطني النابعة من تلك الإرادة البحرينية التي كتب الله لها وبشواهد التاريخ أن تكون حرة أبية ومستقلة وفي الختام وبهذه المناسبة العزيزة فأنني أدعو الجميع كلاً من واقع مسؤوليته 
إلى التمسك بجوهر ومبادئ هذه الوثيقة المعبرة عن آمالنا والموحدة لمواقفنا بالمحافظة على ما تحقق وبمواصلة العمل المخلص للبناء على مكاسبنا وإنجازاتنا والله نسأل أن يحفظ بلادنا وأمننا وأن يجعل أيامنا الوطنية مناسبات فرح ومدعاة فخر وأن يعيننا وإياكم على بذل المزيد في سبيل تقدمنا ورفعة شأننا إنه سميع مجيب الدعاء والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The guests congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion, expressing pride in the country's pioneering achievements under His Majesty's leadership in all political, economic, cultural, social and educational fields. They hailed His Majesty's efforts in developing relations with brotherly and friendly countries and establishing Bahrain's honourable stances in international events, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King then hosted a lunch banquet in honour of his guests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the 17th anniversary of the adoption of the National Action Charter. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pride in the achievements made during the march of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which were based on the principles of the National Action Charter and the initiatives stemming from it. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he hailed His Royal Highness's efforts and support to the development march in the Kingdom, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Chairman of Bahrain Basketball Association. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the results of the draw of the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Championship and the announcement of the start of the second season that will increase competition and attract a larger audience. His Royal Highness praised the organising of the championship and said it will increase the chances of the Kingdom to host more regional and international events, expressing confidence in the abilities of the youth. He praised the efforts of Bahrain Basketball Association to develop basketball further and enhance the players' capabilities to achieve further progress on the regional and international stages. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today received at Gudabia Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials. His Royal Highness expressed pride and appreciation for every national effort exerted to raise the status of the Kingdom in all regional and international events, noting the Kingdom's achievements in various fields. Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa invited His Royal Highness to attend the wedding ceremony of Sheikh Hamad bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Hamad on the occasion, wishing him a happy married life. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the remarkable organisation and outstanding level of the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Cup for men, which reflects the efforts of Bahrain Basketball Association, headed by Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa and his ambitious endeavours to develop the level of Bahraini basketball. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of maintaining heritage and transferring it to future generations. He hailed the efforts to revive traditional sports and enhance their presence and status. His Royal Highness recalled the contributions of the Kingdom's forefathers and their efforts in various fields, affirming that the people of Bahrain are known for their virtues. 
The Prime Minister commended the role of the private sector in supporting the efforts of the government to strengthen the pillars of the national economy, asserting that the sector is a principal partner in the efforts of development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today Kuwait's Ambassador to Bahrain and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Hazam Mubarak Al Subah, where he handed over an invitation to His Royal Highness to attend the ceremony to be hosted by the Kuwaiti Embassy on the occasion of the 57th National Day and the 27th anniversary of liberation. The ambassador affirmed the Kuwaiti people, the Gulf, and the Arab nations' appreciation of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted Bahrain and Kuwait's deep-rooted history and relations based on mutual respect and appreciation. His Royal Highness pointed out that Kuwait celebrates its national days with its development in various economic, political and social fields under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Subah, highlighting His Highness's local and regional achievements. For his part, the Kuwaiti ambassador commended His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to support fraternal and historic relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and further enhancing cooperation in various fields. Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today at the Council's headquarters the UNESCO's Goodwill Ambassador, Mariana Vardinoyanis. Her Royal Highness welcomed the Ambassador and wished her a pleasant stay in the Kingdom and reviewed Bahrain's achievements in support of the progress of women in all fields under the reform era of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. During the meeting, a presentation on the march of Bahraini women, including the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women as an official institution for women's affairs in 2001, and the most prominent achievements in terms of family stability, completion of the legislative system for women in Bahrain, in addition to the establishment of the Family Conciliation Office and Family Courts. They also reviewed the national model for integrating women's needs and development and efforts exerted in this regard to ensure the promotion of the principle of equal opportunities in institutions and the private sector, including a number of figures and statistics that have strengthened the presence of Bahraini women in various fields. The ambassador hailed the achievements of Bahraini women in various fields, noting the role of the council in leading national efforts to strengthen the women's role in society. Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa participated in the national sports events in the presence of Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force in Bahrain Defence, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and His Highness Captain Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa at the Royal Guard today. The Royal Guard Commander affirmed that the Bahrain Defence Force believes in the importance of military sports. His Highness hailed His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's support of military sports and the follow-up of the Bahrain Defence Force Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa of the military sports sector. His Highness commended the status of military sports in the BDF reflected in various military sports achievements in both regional and international forums.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander on Bahrain winning the top title of the Arab Ladies Clubs Championship held in Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates after winning 12 gold medals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the achievement of Bahraini clubs is a clear result of the great support of the wise leadership to the youth and sports movement in the kingdom. His Highness underlined the excellent performance of the Bahraini ladies clubs in the championship which confirms their great skills to compete in various sports tournaments. He said that Bahraini ladies have a high degree of responsibility to put the kingdom of Bahrain first in the overall ranking of the tournament, noting the progress of ladies sports in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the role of the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports in supporting the national clubs participating in the tournament and its keenness to create the appropriate atmosphere for them to achieve such a large number of medals. He also praised the role and contributions of Sheikh Hayat bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote sports and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's directives to allocate Tuesday the 13th, a half working day, to celebrate the National Sports Day. The General Command of the National Guard organised its National Sports Day under the patronage of the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. The events included the commander of the National Guard's Military Marathon Championship and shooting competition which took place at the shooting range complex of the Sakhir camp in the presence of the National Guard's Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa and the Special Operations Unit Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, the Commander of the National Guard, accompanied by the National Guard Chief of Staff, were received by senior National Guard officers and heads of divisions. The Military Marathon Championship for 42 kilometres started at 7.30 a.m., with the Special Operations Unit being the first to complete the race and win the championship. The Commander of the National Guard presented the championship cups and medals to the two winners who came first, stating that the National Guard places great importance on hosting such sporting events to promote a healthy lifestyle amongst the affiliates of the National Guard. Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, held a number of sports programmes and activities as part of the National Sports Day events, which come under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, of allocating a half working day for sports activities in all ministries and government authorities. 
The PDF aims to organize a number of events and sports activities that include maintaining the fitness level of its affiliates and raising it to a high degree of physical readiness and mental serenity, which reflects the support of the leadership at the forefront of which is His Majesty the King and the follow-up of BDF Commander-in-Chief Major General Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session chaired by its speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah. On the occasion of the anniversary of the National Action Charter, the Council ordered the issuance of a statement on the Charter and approved issuing it and authorised the Bureau to prepare it. The Council approved a request to form an investigating committee regarding the seizure of land in eastern Rafah, which was intended for building a school and to be turned into a private commercial complex. The Council also approved a draft law to ratify an agreement between Bahrain and the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons and referred it to the Shura Council. It referred to the government's five proposals on reducing room fees for King Hamid Hospital and exempting the elderly from half the fees. On the Ministry of Information Affairs, Bahrainization of full-time, part-time and employment contracts in Bahrain News Agency, establishment of an institute and factory to train and employ people with special needs, granting a beneficiary housing loan, an additional loan by the Eskan Bank, and on transferring the housing application from one service to another whilst disregarding seniority only once. Under the patronage of President of Bahrain Basketball Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, an extraordinary ceremony was held on the occasion of the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Cup for Men. Present were Minister of Cabinet Affairs Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham Al Jauda, Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee Abdul Rahman Asker, and dignitaries. The celebration was held at the Zain Bahrain Hall in Amal Hassam in the presence of a number of invited guests and the event included various photographs displayed by the organising committee. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he praised the generous patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to the sports movement in Bahrain. He said that the Khalifa bin Salman Cup last season was the most prominent event in the history of basketball in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa expressed his pride in the achievements of the tournament, which has added many gains to the game. He appreciated the contribution of the national companies in supporting the Khalifa bin Salman Cup and the activities of the Bahrain Basketball Association, pointing out that this contribution constitutes a high national partnership. The draw resulted in the following. The first group included teams of Manama, Bahrain, Rafah, Najma, New Edrat and Hid. In the second group included Al Hali, Al Etihad, Essa Town, Sitra, Moharik, and Samahij. منذ البدايات نحو النجوم نحو النجوم تطلعاتك والرؤى فأنت عنوان العزيمة والسلام وأنت رمز للمفاخر والبنى وأنت يا بحريننا بلد العطاء وطن يعانق في بطولته السماء 
أرض الحضارات بحرين آلاف السنين لها شهود يا زهرة للأمنيات وللقلوب يترنب التاريخ في صفحاتك ويغني الحاضر بحب وولاء ويسابق المستقبل يمضي نحو العلا شعب عظيم يستمد من قيادته الحب والانتماء الحب والانتماء يسطر التاريخ بحروف من ذهب اسم مضيء شامخ يعانق النجوم يسابق الزمن صرح عظيم سيرة صرح عظيم سيرة يا ذخرنا أميرنا خليفة بن سلمان دمت يا مجد الوطن سيرته وعيونه دم خليفة بن سلمان اسم ينحني لرجاء شامخ كما هيبة وطن والطيبة تعمه همه تكون بلاده في غير وفي أجمل حال وبلاده تفخر فيه وتمار الملا باسمه وفقنا الله جميعا لما يحبه ويرضاه <تصفيق> لخدمة هذا البلد تحت قيادة ملكنا حفظه الله ورعاه ودائما ان شاء الله منصورين وموفقين في كل ما نقوم به من اعمال لرفعة وسمعة هذا البلد وشعبه فشكرا يا اخوان نشكر سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الوالد العزيز الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر الله يحفظه ويطول عمره على رعايته لمسابقة الكاس في اتحاد كرة السلة وبلا شك أن دعم سموه لمسابقة الكاس يعطينا المزيد من الدافع والسند والعون فله منا المزيد من الشكر والتقدير على هذه الرعاية
The Minister of Interior Affairs, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today Deputy Governor of the Eastern Province of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Ahmed bin Fahad bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in the presence of a number of senior officials. The Interior Minister praised these kinds of visits and stressed their role in enhancing bilateral brotherly ties under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He praised the keenness of both countries to strengthen security cooperation and unify stances against current and future challenges. He hailed the firm stances of Saudi Arabia towards the Kingdom. Customs President and King Fahad Causeway, General Organization Deputy Chairman Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamid Al Khalifa, delivered a brief on the plans, projects and studies of the stages of the implementation of the development project that aims to increase the capacity and facilitate the procedures on the causeway, efforts to raise levels of performance, facilitate the movement of people and transport of goods, which is the main artery connecting the two brotherly nations. The meeting also included a number of topics of mutual concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition Against ISIL, held today in Kuwait. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that Bahrain will always remain committed to exert all efforts within the Global Coalition Against ISIL, especially after defeating ISIL in both Syria and Iraq, which is considered a stage full of challenges that necessitate the continuation of all regional and international efforts to prevent the return of terrorist organizations and eliminate the causes of extremism, especially sectarian and ethnic discrimination, poverty, unemployment and displacement. The Foreign Minister expresses thanks and appreciation to Kuwait for hosting this conference, which reflects the active role of Kuwait in combating terrorism in all its forms. The Minister also thanked the United States of America for its efforts in confronting all terrorist organizations and its keenness to hold this conference to develop new visions and strategies in light of the changes and developments in the region, especially in Syria and Iraq. Sheikh Khalid congratulated Iraq on liberating all Iraqi lands from ISIL. He also affirmed Bahrain's solid position against violence, extremism and terrorism and support to Iraq in its actions to eliminate all terrorist organizations, establish security and peace throughout Iraq and preserve its sovereignty, independence, unity and territorial integrity. The minister added that the elimination of the organization does not mean the elimination of terrorism as a whole, as ISIL remains one of the most violent, unjust and brutal terrorist organizations. However, there are other terrorist threats present that also come from other groups no less dangerous, such as Hezbollah and many others. The minister affirmed that this requires the international community to work on combating and eliminating all terrorist groups, stressing Bahrain's readiness to cooperate and eliminate extremism and violence. The minister also pointed out that the urgency to exert more efforts to reach a political solution in Syria based on the statement of the Geneva One Conference, Security Council Resolutions 2254 and 2268, and the discussions of Astana to ensure the security and safety of Syria and its people, to eliminate the existence of terrorist organizations, end the Iranian interference in its affairs, and ensure security and safety for all the Syrian people. 
The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal Ben Ahmed Mohammed, today opened the eighth session of one of the most important ICT events in the region. The Meet ICT conference, along with the Bitex exhibition, attracting more than 500 participants. More on this conference now in this report from Heba Abdul Rafa. The technology exhibition by Tex held alongside with Meet ICT conference bring all ICT companies under one roof to display the latest trends in their field, gathering the ICT community for business building as well as researching for more powerful solutions in the sector, aiming to strengthen innovative potentials and boost process of technical restoration of the ICT industry. Enabling industry to the growth of the other economic cluster. Without the backbone, we cannot grow financial services, we cannot grow fan manufacturing, we cannot grow tourism and transportation and other sectors. So Bahrain has done fantastic during the past years, during the last decade, when it comes to ICT, we are ranked almost the first uh, in most of the indicators internationally issued by the, IC, uh, by the uh, ITU, the International Telecommunication Union, issued by the UN. Uh, we are proud with, with what has been achieved. However, we have to work harder everybody together with the private sector to do more. Uh, we need to make sure that we continue to be the leader in this industry. An elite group of local, regional and international speakers participated in the sessions and workshops to discuss a wide range of current technology topics, a number of key issues and the latest data from the sector worldwide. Bahrain is actually one of the leading countries in the region and in the Arab world in terms of ICT uh, uh, maturity index and uh, development index. So Bahrain has a leading position uh, in, in the region and in the world. As Betelco, uh, we're here to support uh, you know, the country vision in becoming uh, the ICT hub. Uh, for the region so we are doing a lot of investment a lot of uh, support a lot of innovation bringing a lot of technology uh, in terms of infrastructure products and services to the market to support that vision a lot of uh, government entities and private sector are interested in blockchain and the blockchain we have a very strong partner that implemented blockchain in some of the arab worlds this will give you security transparency and efficiency start our journey in Bahrain since 2004 after 14 years uh, uh, dedication and development. Now, Huawei has more than uh, 500 uh, talent uh, in place in Bahrain. More than 50 companies are participating at the exhibition from the government sectors, ICT companies, startup and international companies to provide services and products, signing of agreements, contracts, and engagement. We are showcasing different applications of 5G, how the 5G uh, from the point of view of latency and reliability can be used to control remotely robots uh, for different applications. It can be for mining, it can be for, for entertainment, it can be for education and also uh, Internet of Things. It shows all of Bahrain and all of the companies the latest technologies that are available now and with the um, digital transformation that's happening worldwide, you know, everyone has to adapt quickly. Like I personally believe that if you don't adapt, quickly in this time, you will not survive. Bahrain's position as the Middle East's most liberal ICT market has encouraged many companies to use it as their platform to share their technologies with the world. Bahrain embraces digital transformation and brings together all the ICT companies under one roof to display the latest trends in their fields. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar.